Hey guys, just want to give you an update on the aquaponic system. I've been a little busy. Uh, I've added another row of Dutch buckets to it. Now I know some people go out and say, hey, what are you doing with those white buckets, man? You're going to let the sun in and all that, which is true. But I figured I'd just give it a shot. You know, there's not a lot of water. There's some in that bottom. get a little algae in it. But I'm like, you know, if it don't harm the roots and it grows good, they would be trying to paint them all the time. Now I did score here on this bucket. That came from... The deli at Publix is a pickle bucket, and so it's already got a nice color on it for me already. But anyway, as you can see, uh, these strawberries, I'm going to tell you something. Now, these might not be the biggest strawberries, but gosh, oh my, they are great. And they probably will be. These are really small plants. They're young plants. I just put them in here. These are all just little seedlings that I put into the new buckets, you know, with different tops to, you know, different things to see what kind of, uh, how the growth does on it. You know, you've seen some of my back stuff back here. This lettuce, I've actually let it go too long. I've just been busy. I need to pull it. Look at the head on this thing. Oh my goodness. I mean, it's really pretty big. That's a huge lettuce there. Shows you can really grow in there if you want. Um, I got this pepper plant here. This thing, I mean, it's got a couple of big peppers on it. The plant ain't very big, you know, but uh, man, it's got a ton of little buds and peppers on it, so it's doing pretty good. This one here, it's another one. It's doing really good. And these are I believe this one's a yellow. I can't remember. I think this one's a yellow, and this one is a red. That's a new tomato plant I put in there just yesterday. Uh, here are the other little strawberries that I had shown you guys earlier on the last update. You can see it's got some nice little strawberries coming on there. And I've actually tasted these, man. These ones are pretty darn good, too. You know, you get them in the store sometimes. I've gotten them, and you have, too, and you taste it, and it's just a sour. It's really bitter. But uh, not with these ones. They've been pretty good. This is just a new pepper I put in there yesterday. Now this plant seems like it's got a little bit of something going on. I mean, it does have the peppers in it really nice. They're doing really good. But, uh, I mean, we got some on there. We're just getting a little bit of a... And I think what it was is my... Actually, my line was clogged up. One thing about it with these lines, and it seems like the longer ones are even a little bit worse, but if you overfeed and stuff, some of the feed, if I, it may not catch it and it gets in there. But I just check it once in a while. It generally hasn't been that bad. Um... Let me go ahead and show you my my grow beds over here real quick. Hold on a second. All right, here's the grow beds. Not a lot of stuff exciting. This is a little plant that I had growing, one of the ones that I had growing in the hydroponics. The cats broke it off. I said, well, I'm gonna slow it in here. Actually, my son broke that one off with a ball, but actually this happened. I got an onion in here. I said, ah, oh, what the heck? I threw a bulb in there, see what it's gonna do. It's actually growing pretty decent. There's a little celery. Doesn't look too sporty in this bed here, but uh, we'll see what goes on here. And then let's, I'm fixing to pull some of this out. I got some seedlings I'm going to slap in here. And here is a pretty nice cell. I've been just letting this thing go. And uh, it's actually doing really well. I pulled uh, I pulled a, a, a stalk off yesterday. I said, man, that thing was good. And uh, got a nice little Brussels sprout plant here. I don't think it's going to get pretty warm. It may produce. I hope it does. The other one got pretty big, but then it got really hot. So we'll see. And this here is something I just love and this tomato plant this is the one that was in the the experiment the cracky bucket at first and I mean if you go way back to the first cracky tomato experiment you'll see this little tomato in that plant in that in that bucket and then like I say the cat broke it off and I stuck it in here and let me go around the other side so I can show you some of it hold on a second I mean just look at this thing it's actually pretty darn big I mean down at the bottom the stalks as big as my thumb and if you peek in here I got some pretty nice tomatoes going on uh, there's a couple of fatties in here. This is supposed to be a beefsteak tomato, and it's got really blossoms all over the darn place. So uh, hopefully, I'm going to be able to get. You know, I need to get some better stringers. I kind of got it just rigged around here. I want to do better with these, but uh, I mean that's pretty good. The thing broke off. I stuck it in there. Didn't do nothing to it. And look at it. it looks like a shrub almost. But uh, yeah, it's doing great. So anyways, that's the update on the aquaponic system. I got some more stuff coming. You know, this is just, like I say, my experimental system. I want the other one to look really nice when I, you know, you've seen it. I've given a couple updates. I've had to take a little halt on that because I'm getting busy my time of year. But, uh, anyways, I'll come back. Oh, here's a pineapple I put in there. And I tell you what, that thing, it sat in the thing. You know, you people put in the water and all that to get a start. I did it just messing around, and uh, it got kind of mushy. And I said, let me just throw it in here. I threw it in here, pulled it up to check it out. Roots growing like crazy. There's a Romanian lettuce I left hiding. I got to get him out too. So I'm going to get some of these lettuces out. I got some cucumbers, some beans and stuff. 
Uh, I may even try a watermelon. I have uh, a, a, honey, a honeydew in the other bucket over there to start. We'll see how it does. So anyways, guys, that is it. That's the aquaponics update for now. Hey, I appreciate you guys watching. Uh, if you like what you're seeing, please subscribe. Here's, oh, this is like a little bell pepper plant I put in there. Uh, it's doing pretty good. Uh, anyways, thanks a lot, guys. I appreciate your feedback. Uh, look forward to your comments, questions, and uh, thanks a lot. Go ahead and subscribe.